All right, we are live. Hello, Miranda. It's wonderful Hello. to see you today. So um, just for everyone who doesn't perhaps know me, I am Angela Rosman. I am the co-founder of Women's Personal Finance along with Regina Moore. We are a an online community focused on women and non-binary folks being an inclusive safe space to talk all things money. We began as a more fire focused group, financial independence, retire early, but specifically we are a money group and not a fire group because we want to be accessible to everyone regardless of where they are on their money journey. So with that, we have Miranda Marquit here with me today. She volunteers with the Plutus Foundation and helps runs run the uh, Plutus Awards and Plutus Voices. She's also a freelance writer and podcaster and co-founder of the Freelance Writer Academy. For those of you who have been around women's personal finance for a while, Kat Trutina is her um, co-founder of Freelance Writer Academy with her. She's done a women's personal finance insiders chat with us in the past. And basically, they are totally awesome. And if you are looking to start freelancing, they are the place to begin. And then I do just want to recognize that we are both wearing our um, Lutus <laughs> shirts today. Shirts today. <laughs> yes. And specifically, without checking with each other, we put on the same year Plutus shirt. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, these, I, these, were the, oh, yeah. these were the 2020 shirts. Yes, that we made when we had to do the digital Plutus award ceremony. So yeah, yeah. this isn't even the most recent Plutus, is it? And uh -uh. We, and we managed to wear the same one. So success on us. Yeah. So um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Plutus Awards, they're basically like the Oscars of personal finance, is the way I like to describe it. Um, I won my first Plutus in 2019 as best fire blogger. And then since then, I have won the Community Builder Award tw twice and Women's Personal Finance won Best Financial Content for Women last year, which was absolutely exciting, especially in our first year as an official business. Regina and I were like texting each other and like both just had like speechless text nonsense back and, e and forth <laughs> to each other because we were so excited. So, um, yeah, Miranda, hey, I'm... Glad you're hey. here and uh, welcome. Thanks. Well, thank you for having me. Um, I I don't know, like, I guess if people have questions, go ahead and ask them and we'll take care of it. I'll just sort of do kind of an overview. And like I said, if you have questions, we can answer them later. Um, and if you don't have any questions, this will be the world's fastest Facebook Live. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, kind of want to start with uh, the Plutus Awards. We actually just started Plutus Awards season last month uh, by asking people to join our blogger, well, not, it's not a blogger panel anymore. I need to stop calling that. Joining our Plutus Awards panel because it's not just for blogs. So when the Plutus Awards started uh, way back in 2010, um, yes, <laughs> the, uh, the Plutus Awards was, uh, it was a straight popularity contest and it was just a way of just like recognizing blogs and people would just put in their votes. And sometimes we would end up with like the same person winning like all the prizes. Um, and so over time, we've kind of worked on the process and worked on uh, getting it down so that it's uh, kind of a, a, you know, we have public nominations. So if there's a project or a creator you like, you can definitely nominate them and encourage your own community to nominate them as well. But then we also have this panel, this Plutus Awards panel made up of community members. And Angela has been on the panel in the past. Actually, you're on this year too, aren't you? No. no that's right. No, <laughs> no. I, yeah. I, I was in the past, but uh, yeah. Regina and yeah. I have a very strict rule with each other that right now we are not saying yes to anything new. <laughs> because we are at capacity. But keeps the yes, to things. <laughs> yes, yes. And it was a really good experience doing the Plutus panel. And I hope to do it in future years. We just are having to be very protective mm. of our time. But if you are into personal finance content, even if you are not a creator, um, you know, being on a Plutus panel is great because you can help uh, be part of the process and the yeah. steering committee. So it's 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 a great uh, experience and one I think everybody who is online in the personal finance space should do at least once. 
Yeah. And I don't know where we can drop a link, whether I can just put it in the comments after yeah. or how that works. Um, but if you do want to be a member of the Post Awards panel, we are still expect accepting people to join us. Uh, right now, we're in the process of narrowing down and just and choosing categories. So, oh, yeah. So we need to get that figured out by the end of this week. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're in the process of, of uh, finalizing the categories uh, because, you know, it's it's an award show. And so we're limited in time and, and as to how many categories we can present. Uh, but we do try to take into account and we have new categories or we bring back old categories. And that's one of the things with the panel. And that's so great about the panel is they have their pulse on the community, what's going on in the community, what's important to the community. Uh, we used to have this frugal travel category and it went away, but now there's like a big push to bring it back. And so so there's a lot going on where um, each year the makeup of the of the panel has a lot of influence in how the awards look and the projects that are recognized. The other right, because we didn't we didn't there didn't used to be. Um such a big social media component either because the Plutus Award started in 20, 2010. 10. Okay. Yeah. So in 2010, I mean, social right. media was very, very new and it wasn't such a big deal. So it's interesting how much Plutus has adjusted to how much content creation has changed in the last 12 years. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, we recognize podcasts, video content, and we actually, like for a while, we were just like YouTube channel. Well, now we have to do like, okay, video content, and that's going to include your TikTok, your Instagram reels, your, your YouTube channel, you know, and we've got like use of social media, and that's going to bring in all of your regular Instagram and just whatever. And I mean, it's, it's really interesting. And then also the evolution to be more community focused, where we added a lot of people are like, hey, let's recognize somebody who's building community. So like Angela. Um, and so we wanted to be able to do that as well. And we've so it's been really cool to see how we've kind of catered to the community. The other really cool thing about having um, and we try to be inclusive in our in our panelists um, because we also want to make sure that we're elevating voices that we don't always hear in the mainstream. Uh, the real thing about Plutus Awards is we that we recognize independent financial creators. So we want to make sure we're recognizing those that independence, and that's a real key component of how we do this. Uh, because uh, we oh hi Katie, uh, so uh, that, but that's one of the huge imp the important components to us is that independent factor where you know you're not you're not going to have to worry about. Um, your independent podcast going up against something like, uh, you know, Planet Money or freak Freakonomics, because we want to keep it small, we want to keep it independent, and we want to keep it focused on people who are close to those communities who don't always have a voice. And so, um, so one of the things that I love about our panel and having that panel makeup is they can bring projects in. Like when we get done with our public nominations, like I submit to panelists, like I submit to them, like, Hey, like here are, um, here are like the top 10 to 15, uh, public nominations. But if you're looking at this list as a panelist and you know that there's a great content creator that maybe isn't big and maybe doesn't have the following to get all those nominations in, you suggest them and you can have them added to the list for consideration. So that's one of the great things is you can help elevate these voices in our community that don't always get heard. Yeah. And so one of my favorites is always the best new hmm. blog, best new podcast, because I, I think they have to be new within like the last like year ish. Months. We usually 18 we months. Kind of yeah. have a rolling thing that's like 18 months from the last Time we had the Plutus Awards, so it kind of yeah. gives that um, gives a little bit more time and gives us a little more yeah. <laughs> breath, right? But I, I really love that yeah. because you know people are always asking like, oh, I want to start a blog, I want to start a podcast, I want to start X Y Z content creation, but isn't it too saturated? Aren't there already too many voices online? And uh, that's absolutely not true. I always say that you know we're all going to resonate with different people and different stories. So even if you're talking about the same thing by 
telling your story and your perspective, there's going to be a place for you. And that I think the like best new podcast, best new blog really shows that is that every year there are all these great new content creators and there's, there's not a, you missed the boat. It's too late. Don't bother. Like if, if you are thinking about starting in 2022, it is not too late. There is absolutely a space for you. And even if like your goal is never to get big, being an active content creator can also be a really great thing because it connects you to the community in such a deeper way than Mm -hmm. passively consuming content. And I say that as someone who passively consumed personal finance content for like seven years. Um, So the year that the Plutus Awards started is the year I started consuming content. But then I personally didn't start blogging until 2017. I could have said at that point, oh, well, I'm you know, a decade behind the boat, I've missed it. And now five years later, people are like, oh, you started way back when it's too late for me now. And it's absolutely not true. So if anyone is thinking about getting started, I would highly, highly recommend it. Even if all you're doing is creating a social media account and interacting with content creators online. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Lurker since 2008. (laughs) Oh, beat beat me by two years. (laughs) (laughs) I've I've been I've been doing personal finance content as a freelancer since 2006. So I am an internet dinosaur. So <laughs> yeah, it's crazy up in this business. Um, oh, that's very cool. Yeah, blog and stuff last year. Very nice. Congratulations! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. That's drop your drop your blog link here too, so folks know it. This is a place yeah. that self promo is absolutely encouraged. Um, and with Plutus, that's the whole thing is it's really um, about highlighting and sharing the people that are doing great stuff online. I know sometimes it seems like, you know, especially like in good, big groups like Women's Personal Finance, we have to be very specific about like the days and places that people share their content. So that's kind of where Plutus, I think, is really special is that it's specifically the place to like shout your stuff to the rooftops. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And we, and we love seeing creators succeed and, you know, we just, we like, we like the idea of community and making sure that we are a a broad and inclusive community. So, so that's what we work for. Uh, So, yeah. So the other thing um, that I, uh, well, I guess, I guess if anybody has, I don't know if there are any other questions about the Plutus Awards, Uh, we will be presenting them live in person at FinCon um, on September. Oh dear. <laughs> in September. We'll it's in that. September, the beginning of September. I don't it's it's sad that I don't have like the date right off the top of my head, but my main concern right now is uh, oh, I want to say September 8th. Yeah, it was actually really cool in 2020, so for those go back a couple of years early in COVID, everything was completely virtual. Yep. Um the Plutus Awards ended up being um decoupled from FinCon. The Plutus Awards generally are presented at FinCon, which for those of you who don't know, is the the big personal finance creator ex- exhibition in person um, conference every year. But in 2020, because of COVID, uh, Plutus Awards got presented later than FinCon. No, we still. I no, actually, yeah. we did the same day as we did. We did it at FinCon as in, part of- in 2021, not in 2020. 2020. Oh, that's right. You're right. You're yeah. right. So well, I know this because X and it was, yeah. Yeah. I know this because the Plutus Awards ended up being on my anniversary. Oh. And yes. so I had my husband and kiddo listening in because it was 2020 and we weren't going anywhere for an, our anniversary. We had like a okay. dinner at home. Okay. Uh, but they both got to be there to listen to my name get announced as community builder for the year. And my kiddo may not recognize Tread Lightly Retire Early, but he recognized Angela Rosman. He was like, Ma, it's you. <laughs> so it was actually really fun, even though it was virtual. It, it made uh, it pretty special. Awesome. So very cool. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. So um, unless there are any <clears throat> other questions about Plutus Wars, like I said, you can still get involved as part of uh, the panel, and then we will be opening up for public nominations in 
it should be in the next couple of weeks. So uh, we'll keep you posted on that. And if y'all let me, I'll just let you all know when, you know, we can post a link to how to nominate your favorite yeah, project. That sounds great. And uh, you can head on over and do that. So, yeah. Um, so the other thing uh, that I'm here to talk about is it's called Pluto's Voices. And uh, that is a series of small, intimate conversations about different aspects of personal finance, but it's also aimed, it's aimed at creators and entrepreneurs and educators and financial educators uh, to talk about topics that we don't normally see hugely addressed in the mainstream financial media. So we just finished one in Detroit at the end of March, and that topic there was specifically how do you integrate your values on into your entrepreneurship? How do you make sure that your entrepreneurship reflects your personal values? How do you create that mission as part of what you're doing? And so it was a really great event. We had uh, three featured speakers and we had a lot of fun just talking about stuff because what we do is we have our featured speakers and then we break up into small groups and we have pre-prepared questions so that the groups can have a nice robust conversation about the concepts and really think about how it's going to apply to their own business and the way they create their own personal finance content. And so our next one is going to be in Philadelphia on June 15th. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. I love Philly. <laughs> That's the last place I lived and I love Philly. Um, so I'm excited to go back and do this. And our subject there is actually going to be uh, talking about how public policy influences personal finances and the tools that you need to get around that and to educate your community. Uh, because so we will be having Bryn Conroy, who wrote um, uh, Financial Feminist Handbook. handbook. I always, yeah. I always, I always, I'm like, is it Feminist <laughs> Financial Handbook or Financial Feminist yeah. Handbook? I always, I always make that up. But, but, um, but she'll be one of our speakers. And then Courtney from Ivy Investor will be our other speaker. And they will be talking about um, this issue of, you know, how do you educate when you've got these, you know, these problems and, and, these, and these public policy issues uh, that kind of sometimes throw roadblocks in your way. Um, and then in August, very exciting, we will be going to Portland. And Regina will be one of our speakers in Portland. We're very excited about that. And that subject is going to be fire for people on lower incomes. So a lot of the time, um, the fire discussion, it, it, just a lot of the time, the fire discussion is around like people who are middle. I make $300,000 a year and live on $20,000 a year. And five years later, I'm retired. And so can you. Yeah, exactly. And so, oh, very nice, Katie. Very cool. Financial educator certification. That's very nice. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, so I'm excited about that so that we can actually talk about like, okay, so how do you focus that on your community? How do you help members of your community who are in circumstances that don't necessarily, you know, reflect that norm? So I'm thrilled about that. And then and I'm hoping I'm hoping to get down there for that one. Um, so Yay. cross your fingers. In theory, I should be able to make it, but I don't want to like 100% commit to it yet. So yeah. um, I and, will hopefully be at that one live. Yeah, and we have not set our cities for 2023. So if anybody wants to make a bid, like I would like to go to Seattle. Um, but like, so if anybody wants to make a <laughs> bid for Pluto's Voices to come to your town, if you could think, and we do like to try and have, we aim to have 25 to 30 people. Like I said, these are like small, intimate events, small conversations, like, well, not small conversations, big conversations in a smaller setting. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you want to do that, but yeah, we will be having one. We will have one in New York in October, in early October. Uh, we will have one in LA in mid-November and then one in Orlando in early December. We should definitely put a list in the comments then just letting everybody know the ones that are coming up for 2022 and then where if you want to try and pitch your city for 2023. Mm. It's exciting though, you know, we're getting... Yeah. Clearly, COVID is not over unless maybe you live in Idaho. Um, hey, COVID never existed in Idaho. <laughs> those 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 horrible government people said that we were the number one hotspot on three different occasions through various variants. 
but it never existed here. Never had COVID here. <laughs> uh, anyway, but as things are getting to the B where we can figure out ways to do small events in person, I'm excited that Plutus Voices yeah. is being able to come back as an, an in-person thing. As much as I love the online um, <laughs> events, like clearly I'm an online community creator. I, I love the online space. I think it's also really nice sometimes to be able to actually meet up in person and see people mm. face to face. So yeah, and I and I think it's just really nice um, to have that <clears throat> in person connection. So <laughs> just <to> even... <laughs> oh look, she's got Idaho pretty much nailed. <laughs> Eat your potatoes and hang out with your independent militia. That's <laughs> true. That's true. That's true. Uh, so side note on a personal note, I, I do run for office here in Idaho. I lose a lot. So, um, that's, that's what we do here in Idaho. <laughs> well, I, you know, keep on you're, doing the good stuff. Like I mean, me. there, are, there are a lot of people leaving my area to move to Idaho. So maybe if you keep running enough, Washingtonians will end up in Idaho and then you can win election. But are you sending us your best? Mm. Because if you look at the demographics of the people coming from Washington, That's Oregon, true. and California, they are not the people that are going to vote for me. They're coming. They're coming for Greater Idaho. Yeah, they're coming for their freedoms. So anyway, <laughs> okay. So anyway, we digress. <laughs> we, we, we digress. But no, so uh, so yeah, so we do have some fun cities coming up for Pluto's Voices. Uh, we're very excited about that. Um, if you live in some of the areas where we are coming this year, uh, reach out to me, let me know. Uh, <clears throat> we'd be happy to like uh, incorporate you in some way. We had a couple of great volunteers in Detroit who uh, just kind of helped us get the word out a little bit. And then also were willing to help us like with setup and, and everything else. I mean, these are free events. Um, but we usually bring food, so so we promise to free maybe. event and free food. That's and right. That's right. Free money learning stuff. So yes, yes. So uh, lots of fun. So yeah, um, yeah. This is. Gonna I be think fun. I think it would be great too if maybe at some point I would love to do some women's personal finance meetups. You know, Regina and I don't have to be there if you all connect up together and say, "Hey, there's a Plutus of Voices in my town." Why don't we use that as a reason to meet up? Pre-COVID, there were some small meetups that happened through women's personal finance, just people connecting up and meeting each other. So um, I think that would be really cool. Maybe if I do get down to Portland, maybe we can do a small daytime event, at, you know, on the yeah. same day. So um, yeah, folks, let us know if you want us to help you set something up like that, because you know, women's personal finance is all about community and that's really what Plutus is about as well. So we're always happy to see what they're doing and happy to lift up what they've got going on. And for those of you who don't know, um, women's personal finance insiders are a premium community. We open cohorts every quarter and Plutus, the Plutus Foundation, the uh, nonprofit side of Plutus, actually sponsors three memberships a quarter for women and non-binary folks that otherwise would not be able to afford the cost of Women's Personal Finance Insiders. So it's really exciting to have them as a partner um, for doing important money stuff too. So I just want to thank them again for being such great Women's Personal Finance supporters and really putting their money where they mean it because it's not just about, you know, helping the people who already make high incomes make better choices and be able to retire early. It's about how do we help everybody have a better money story? For sure. Yeah. And, and along with that, um, we do a couple of times a year, we do, uh, we have small grants that we give out and we do have a grants program. I believe that Cher, uh, our grants coordinator came and spoke with uh, women's personal finance about the grants program. So keep that in mind as well. If you have a financial literacy idea that you're doing to work into underserved communities, uh, we are happy to entertain your grant proposal. So, so yeah, so we have that. Uh, the other thing we have coming up in July is the impact summit. And that is a digital online 
online summit. Uh, we kind of, and we do all of these things right now in partnership with Capital Group. So Capital Group is one of our, our big partners and it's really, uh, they've been really great to work with as far as helping sponsor the awards, the um, Impact Summit, and then also Pluto's Voices. And they have really awesome swag. My water bottle that goes with me traveling <laughs> and my external battery pack, both of them are Capital Group swag. So, oh, yeah, awesome. They, they have awesome swag, not just the, <laughs> like, oh, great, I got this thing. I'm going to put it in the corner. Like, oh, yes, I got more awesome stuff from Capital Group and I'm going to use this on the regular. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so they're great partners. So, so those are just some of the things that we've got coming up. And yeah. Um, I don't know if there are any, I think that's probably it for now. I'm going to also make sure that this video is posted in the Facebook group. And we're also going to put it on the women's personal finance YouTube. So if you have any more questions for Miranda, make sure to ask them of her. She is in the Facebook group and, um, also on Twitter, which is probably yeah, the better place to find you. If yeah, I am an good. insider as well, but I yeah. haven't come gone on to Discord. Discord. Which I need to do. Oh, speaking of insiders, I will be on Insiders next talking month about talking crypto. about crypto. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to talk about crypto next yeah. month. Yeah. I mean, it was it was a high request um topic. So I'm glad yeah. you're gonna come chat with us. So yeah, so I do need to get in the Discord group. I just have been very slow to adopt, like I have had a Discord account for two or three years now. I just haven't, Yeah. like my brother and then uh, two friends that I have are the only, and then I was, then somebody I know records their podcast on Discord. And so that's yeah. that's my entire Discord usage, but I know I yeah, need to get- Yeah, I had never used Discord for anything I until Women's I Personal Finance, except <laughs> for Pokemon Go. There is a local Discord group that I get like new friends for Pokemon Go. <laughs> Love it. But yes, yeah. um, so- for those of you who are insiders, come chat crypto with us uh, with Miranda next month. May 24th? May yes. 24th. Yes. And um, there's a link to it in the Discord group, and then you'll also get emails out. Um, and for those of you who have not been able to join insiders yet and are waiting for the June cohort to open, the good thing is, is that we record all of our content. So if you're really excited about listening to Miranda talk about crypto, then uh, if you join in June, you will have access to that video at that time. Yep. So. so thanks so much for coming and chatting today. Yeah. And I will post this and we will put together some links for those who want to look into this more. And uh, otherwise, I will see you online. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks.